All right, it's spatial persona time. We're gonna capture our persona using Vision OS 1.2 as it came in the box just a few days ago here in the UK. I've heard that the beta of Vision OS 2 actually improves spatial personas somewhat. So we're gonna compare that after we've captured one with Vision OS 1.2, which is on this device at the moment. I've also heard people talk about when you capture your persona and you hold the Vision Pro out in front of you, you know, you tend to hunch your shoulders up a little bit and you're supposed to be more relaxed. So it's better to put Vision Pro on something. Thankfully, Apple have provided me with a, a stand for the Vision Pro um, so that I can do this for the spatial personas. We're just gonna use the box. All right, let's go to settings and persona and get started. In a moment, you'll remove Apple Vision Pro to capture your appearance. All right, well the area, simple background, and take your time to get ready. Your face is out of view. Align your face within the frame. Move Vision Pro a little bit to the right. Slowly turn your head to the right. Now slowly turn your head to the left. Now tilt your head up. Then tilt your head down. Next, let's capture your facial expressions. Smile with your mouth closed. Adjust your head by tilting it slightly down. Then make a big smile with your teeth showing. Now raise your eyebrows. Close your eyes for a moment. Capture complete. Put Vision Pro back on to continue. Okay, let's have a look. All right. <laughs> it's uncanny. Not in an uncanny valley kind of way, but in a, that's me. It's, yeah, it's really cool. So this is just Vision OS 1.2. We'll go, we're gonna see how it compares to the beta of Vision OS 2 later on. We can choose our lighting. So natural, studio, brightens the face a little bit. Contour, hmm. Subtle differences. We're just gonna stick with natural, I think, and hit next. We can refine the tone. So we've got adjustments here for a lot warmer, a lot cooler, no. So let's leave that in the middle. And then we can change brightness, no. Again, I think, yeah, it does a really good job of kind of picking the Picking a sensible value for temperature and brightness, so that's good. Let's go next. Eyewear. <laughs> Don't think so. Yeah, I'm probably going to leave eyewear off. I mean, I could go with something that's similar to my glasses that I normally wear. But... <laughs> what? Yeah, let's... Um... Let's maybe stick with none, but okay, let's just go all the way back to none. Let's continue with that for the moment and save. All right, that's really weird and really cool. It's done a really good job. If I zoom in with my face on the screen capture, hopefully you can see the detail that this has actually captured, it's amazing. I'm looking at a mini version of myself in digital form. Yeah, you've got your hands kind of capturing, recreating your kind of subtle hand movements. 
All right, we'll leave it here for now and we will capture a spatial persona with Vision OS Beta 2 once I've got that installed on the Vision Pro. So stick around for that and I will catch you in the next video.